What's going on, my friends? My name is M2 Digit, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa, another episode of Ultra Despair Girls for the PC. We're all up last time. We found this underground shelter hidden in the sewers here. The Monokumas currently do not know about this. And now in this part, we are on our way to Tella Tower uh, in an attempt to contact the future foundation. Um, will we succeed? To go the opposite there is only one way to find out about that. So let's go ahead and make our way to there. So the first thing we have to do is just make our way out of here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so, um, here we are going in this particular direction here in the sewers. All right, let's see. Do I need, any, do I need to refill an ammo? Uh, I mean, I could use a bit more knockback ammo. And Genocide Jack could use more batteries a little bit, but uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see what we get out of this. More batteries. Okay, very nice. You know, that could be pretty situational. Okay, so I believe we went that way last time. Let's go ahead and make our way. Looks like we can get out if we climb that ladder. Yeah, so we're on our way out. I mean, I don't blame you for not really being a fan of this place. Oh, hey, there's some there's some guys right there. Oh god. Okay, there we go. That's one and that's two. Okay, man, that was uh insane. All right, let's make our way out. Oh, this place is. A graveyard! Looks like it. It doesn't just look like it. It's clearly a graveyard. This whole town is basically a graveyard anyway. At least this place buried the bodies. That's not the problem. I've had the ability to see ghosts ever since I was a kid. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> If you like the occult, I know just the guy you should meet. He's even more of an idiot than you. You'd really hit it off. What do you say? Well, well first we have to get out of here. Man, this is a mm. graveyard? Holy moly. Everything is like so blue and red. It almost looks like it's so... Um... It's, it's almost as if, um, you know, this is like a, <laughs> some kind of virtual graveyard, but it's definitely not a virtual graveyard in, in, you know, their perspective. So, you know. Well, this is quite a colorful street. I'm sure some pretty girl designed it. Where in the heck are we? This looks nothing, but what in the world? Okay, can't go here. More knockback ammo. That could be pretty helpful. Wow. This graveyard is like so ominous compared to like everything else around here. Like we're in a different street, basically. And this is like the darkest of everything. Everything's so like brightly colored. Okay, safe point right there. Wow. Okay, so there's water over here. There's a safe point there. What is this? Um. Are you okay? If my options are okay and not okay, I'm pretty friggin' far from okay. Hmm. Well, we're not exactly okay either. I don't think a single adult in this town is okay. Maybe, but that don't make me feel any better. Never expected something like this. Been living here for 10 years. 10 years? You're from here? Then do you know why the children are acting like this? Who knows? Don't have a freaking clue, but I know what they done. They, those kids, they killed my family and made a diorama with the bodies. Hey. Can you imagine it? Seeing your family's bodies nailed to a wall, ne necks fixed in into a position with a wire, and knowing you, ju you just, you just have to hide and watch them do it. You can't imagine it, can you? That's fine, that's normal. You shouldn't have to imagine something like that your your whole dang life. Shit. 
So why? Why me? I wish I could be a normal again. I wish I hadn't seen it. What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? Heck. What the heck is all this here? Hmm. Alright, let's just go ahead and keep going. So where is this Toa Tower? Oh, it's right there! That okay, I see. Alright, so we just have to go all the way over there. Can we go inside any of these places? Man, it doesn't look like, like we can. can just walk along the riverside. I just want to like do a little bit of exploring here. I know it's not the, really the situation to be doing that, but... I mean, I don't, I, you never really know. Oh, hey! Oh! 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 Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! Oh, God! Wait, what? Wait, if you get knocked in the water, you die? What? I can't believe it. Uh, I can't believe that just happened. Alright. We just gotta, like, be very careful here. In this case. Man, I was doing so well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I got that guy. I need to get the other guy. Woo! Come on! Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Now I need to get this guy. I need to get this guy out of here. Alright, very nice. Alright, is that all of them? That's, uh... Appears to be all of them. Oh my god, okay. I oh, man, I can't believe I can just die that easily. That's so insane. Precision shot? Alright, that, that looks like something I, I could actually... Oh, I actually got... Okay. Quick fire skill. Increases laser uh, sight. Move speed more slightly. Okay. I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. Precision shot. Decreases laser sight. Move speed slightly. Okay, so this is like... Oh, man. What's the... Uh, what's more efficient, though? I feel like quick... I feel like this is more efficient. I don't want to, like, decrease my laser sight. Oh man, look how fast I, I I move around with this thing now. I mean, I don't know. It feels faster. Maybe there probably is not a speed difference, but it feels faster to me. Alright. Man, this town is so weird. This is like an art town, basic, uh, kind of, in a way. I don't know. It's so strange, that's for sure. All right, let's go ahead and make our way inside. There's some weird machine lying here. For a world famous IT organization, Toa sure likes to make weird crap. Another tutorial. This device is a hologram projector TV built by scavenging Toa's technology. If you turn it on, a video of a child will appear. Perhaps the kids modified it. It appears the Monokumas love modern technology because they are drawn to it, but this unit it doesn't emit any sound, so only enemies who can see it will react to it. But by utilizing this special ability, I bet you can wipe out the enemy in one blow. But if you and if you haven't already figured this out, turn it on with move. Use this hologram TV. Use this hologram TV skillfully to progress forward. Okay. Why don't we give moving that a try. Um. All right. Stop powering and try moving that thing. See if you can use it or not. Okay, but I want to see what's in the next room first. You got to attack the shield one from behind. Okay. I have to attack the shield one from behind. Oh, so if I shoot that weird machine, It'll take me over here, and then that's when I can start shooting these guys. I can only use break and move. Amazing! A hologram! Look, Togo holograms! Jeez, you're off 
fully excited. Calm down, woman. Uh, okay. So then what happens now? Oh, okay. So... Okay, there we go. Okay, that's actually really good. Okay. All right. So that's not bad. It's not. That's not a bad mechanic after all. Wow, this place looks so weird. I don't know. It's just me. What even is? Oh, that's Monica on the bed right there. Okay. And these are like all the little kids right here on the stairs. Hmm. So I'm gonna come a door right there. And there's something over here. What is this? The bomb inside her, too. Worry about the bomb inside her body that will explode if she falls in love. Yumi Kay Kayakuda continues to keep her distance from Shota, but even she can't keep her heart from longing for the force will shoot Shota. Whenever she realizes she is falling in love, she asks for Sh Shota to bully her to keep the flames of passion away from her bomb. However, one day while she was getting bullied by Shota in the classroom after school as usual, the transfer student Tokeko Koriyama, whose light of, light of life goes dark whenever the feeling of love vanishes steps in. If I can't be in love, I'd rather die. Beware the carbon dioxide poisoning of life. The second volume of the steamy, torrid love story. Amazing! Hey, the second volume of the bomb series. Yoko Koriyama, the new girl, is so cute. Didn't I tell you I'm not interested in this filth? Oh, come on, don't say that. You should at least try reading one. The final date scene from this volume is so good. It's considered a masterpiece of manga history. <sighs> a masterpiece of crap is still crap. But speaking of dates, this area seems like a pretty a good spot for a date with Master Biakia. Minus the Monokumas, You're obviously. Right. Yeah, it's a ni it'd be nice for a couple to walk on the shore and eat sweets hand in hand. I'd want a date like that for my first time. Huh? huh? I took you for some sleazy tr uh, tramp who just acts innocent. You really don't have any experience? I mean, not really, for her age. I mean, I've seen people of her age... Um, who get into dates really early, and it's insane. I totally have experienced lots of it. Too many to count with both hands. What? Wait, what? I flipped through attractive boys like pages in a manga. So then you are just putting on an act. You don't look like it, but you're a poisonous little succubus on the inside. <laughs> Maybe not that bad. No, not really. If you're going to be a slut, you should at least be proud of it. Sorry. Why would you lie about that? I didn't want you to make fun of me. Wait, so does she have any experience or not? I never actually went on a date. I have been asked out before. So you turned them down? <laughs> yeah, because they were all my friends' ex or like guys older than my dad. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Um, why do you know that? And how? Stop it! Alright. Thanks, Toko. Aww. Yeah, I'm gonna remember that too. I can't believe you put in th thoughts like that in our minds. I'm really disappointed in you. This is why, okay, so there's a tier list that I found recently <laughs> on Tier Baker of Danganronpa characters. I deliberately rate ranked Toko on F tier. Man, what's this about? Hey, do I see Monokumas over there? What is that about? Hmm. 
Oh, come on. Come on! Oh my gosh. Okay, shot one, shot two, and I'm gonna shoot the third one. Kaboom! Oh wow, these guys have mustaches. Monokumos with mustaches? I can't even imagine. Man, look at this. Alright, time to go inside. It's that arcade machine again. Again? Let's get a move on. Man, how how many arcade machines are we looking at here? Okay. What do we got going on here? Monokuma with the shield again. I just have to hit it from behind, right? Okay, so if I'm understanding this, what I have to do is use knockback, which is going to knock that bomb guy over to these shield guys over here, while I shoot this thing right here to, to lure this guy over here. Alright, don't look at me, don't look at me. Yes! Right. Okay. Time to move on to the next part. Okay, where in the world are we at now? Okay, there's more kids over there. And, you know, you know, whenever there's kids, then, um, that means there's Monokuma nearby. What in the world is this? Okay, they're hugging. This one's jumping on a dead guy. And so is, and then that one is dancing on a dead guy. While we have this one right here. Memoirs of Jotaro Kimori. <laughs> the face of the demons make when I'm hunting them is seriously always the best. The very top of warm milk is always gooey. When a demon is up against a wall, they always clench their teeth or open their lips slowly. But in the end, when I kill them, they always open their lips and shudder like crazy. Anyways, the sound of the bell that rings when you enter a store is so cute sounding, right? People who make those th things must have a bad personality. People who make pretty or cute things have bad attitudes. On the other hand, I don't make pretty things. I make horrible dioramas, but my face and my personality is horrible too. Am I the only one whose tummy hurts when they smell rice from a rice cooker? What? I always knew it. It's always the best to attack from both sides when hunting demons. That way, even if they go left or right or go back, they always end up getting killed. The moment just when they fall into despair and know they are going to die is really always splendid. Okay, Jotaro. I get it. You're cruel. I don't want to hear any more of why you're so cruel. I cannot go over there because apparently I'm not thin enough to go through that thin area right there. Let's go ahead and make our way to the bridge, and we're, we're almost, almost there. Tower. I can see that. We are almost there. Is this some guy's leg sticking out? Oh my god! Holy crap, this is the this is a such a brutal way to die. Look, this is this is somebody's legs right there. Is this water just like really shallow? Is that why his legs are able to stick up like that? Okay, can't get more batteries, because we're full on it. 